Alrighty guys, so first before we download the emulator, we're going to create a folder on our desktop where we can have our files extracted to. So let's right click, new folder, and we're going to name the folder main. Now let's go ahead and open up our browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome. And let's head on over to mamedev.org. The link to this website will be in the description below. Now if we scroll down, we see our supported platforms. And this emulator is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And the latest version is .221. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click on Windows Download. And then you want to download main 64-bit. And you should get a pop-up in the bottom of your screen showing your download has started. Let's give it a minute to download. Once your download is complete, go ahead and click on it. And then it's going to ask you where would you like to extract the files to. So we're going to click on this little button over here. We're going to go to desktop and we're going to find that main folder that we created and then click OK and then hit extract. Give it a minute to do its thing. And there we go. Now we can exit out. And if we open this folder, boom, we have our extracted files. Good to go. Now you're going to locate the folder that says ROMs. This is where we're going to be storing our games. So I have another folder open over here. This is my external hard drive where I keep all of my main games. So I'm just going to highlight all of my games. And I'm just going to drag them right into the folder that says ROMs. And the good thing about this emulator, guys, is that you don't even have to extract your game files. You just take them as zip files and drop them right in the ROMs folder and you're good to go. There we go. Now let's open the emulator. So you wanna find the little blue M logo. Now let's go to configure options, double click, and let's go up to video options, double click. And the reason I'm saying double click is because you actually have to double click on it. Now, I think everything runs well with this emulator on default settings, but there is one thing that you guys may wanna change it's completely optional, it's up to you, and that is the aspect ratio. Now, if you leave this on, it'll play the games at a 4-3 aspect ratio, you know, the little block screen. But if you guys prefer to play your game stretched, then what you want to do is double click on this, and you want to turn the force aspect ratio off, and this will give you full screen. I prefer to play that way. Like I said, guys, it's totally optional, so I'm going to leave it off. But it's up to you. If you're happy with that, click on return to previous menu. Now let's set up our controls. I'm gonna be using the Xbox One controller with this emulator. I'm pretty sure a PS4 controller works as well, but I don't have one to test, but I do know that a wire controller works. But just make sure when using a Bluetooth controller that you actually have a connection with your PC before opening the emulator. All right, let's go down to general input and let's go up to player one. Now the button that's ready to be emulated will be highlighted in yellow. So the first button is up. So let's double click it and then just tap the button on your controller once. Down, double click it, tap the button once on the controller. Left, double click, right, right stick up, and so on. And if you guys notice, there's a lot of buttons on here that can be emulated. If I was you guys, I would only emulate down to button six. Anything after that, you pretty much won't use. So anything from button seven down, don't even worry about it. You probably won't even have enough buttons on your controller to emulate them anyways. So once you're done laying your controller out, just hit the little down arrow until you see return to previous menu. Now this next part is gonna be super important and you don't wanna skip this step or else you're gonna be in your game wondering why the game won't start. So let's go down to other controls. And this is gonna be your player start button and your coin button. If you guys recall, when you go to the arcades, you're not gonna get a game to start unless you do what? Put money in it, a coin. So we have to emulate the coin button and the start button. So let's click on start, press the button on your controller. 
and then select which button you want to emulate as a coin. Once you do that, return the previous menu. And before you start every game, guys, you're gonna have to hit that button that you just selected as your coin button because you have to emulate putting a coin into the arcade machine to start it. Got me? Now let's go ahead and return the previous menu and make sure you save your configuration so you don't lose those settings. Return the previous menu. Now let's load up a game. So to locate those games that we moved into the ROM folder earlier, you wanna come over here to available. And this is gonna give us a list of all the games that we put into the folder. All right, let's load up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, one of my favorites. So when you first click on it, you're gonna get a little bit of information about the game. Just hit the start button when you're ready. And I'm gonna select, let's do Leo. And let me hold my controller up so you guys can actually see that I'm using the Xbox One controller. Test my buttons out. All right, good to go. And if you look at the top right corner, you'll see insert coin. If player two wanted to join the game right now, he'll just hit the coin button and he would drop in. 